Hi, I'm John Arns from ATV Illustrated Magazine, and we're here at the Long Beach Pier on a little motocross track Yamaha setup to test a bike they're really proud of. It's the Raptor 250. We think you're going to like it. Before we ride any new bike, we like to look it all over first, go over all the controls, see what it takes to maintain it. And then the Raptor 250, it seems to be laid out quite well. One thing Yamaha has done really well in the last few years is they've brought the, the tank within very narrow through here where the tank where you grip it with your knees and that's important because you can use your knees and your body to steer the bike a little bit and on a sport bike like this you're, you, you absolutely want it as narrow as possible through as you can get. The controls are laid out well very similar to the YFC 450 and Raptor 700 and even uses some of the same parts. The master cylinder is the same as on the YFC 450 and the Raptor 700 so we know it's got great hydraulic brakes this time. Thank you Yamaha, no drums. Um, and getting the seat off to do one of the most important maintenance chores is easy. There's one latch, you pop the seat off, a couple little uh, snap couplers on the air box, you take that off, and it's a dirt bike style filter with one screw in the center. I really like that because it's fastened well. The other thing is, it looks like it's a dual density foam, which is important because on a, on a sport bike like this, you're going to be on the track and in trail, and it's going to be pretty dusty at times. And a dual density, you can't beat it for stopping dirt. We come to the back, and it's got a hydraulic disc brake. Not just any hydraulic disc brake, it's the same as found on the YFC 450 and Raptor 700 again. Same diameter uh, rotors, and that's fantastic because we'll have good stopping power with that. I also that's the horn of the Queen Mary you just heard. <laughs> and they must have saw us filming and wanted to be in video or something, but anyway. One thing we really like about this bike, the chain adjustment system. It's got that super easy, eccentric style adjustment. You loosen a couple bolts here, you stick a pin in the end, roll the bike, and let it do the work to adjust the chain. Um, you know, tighter or looser, depending on what it needs. One thing that's really important in any ATV, but most especially one that's more geared towards the entry level aspect of the sport is reliability because those guys are learning how to ride and how to maintain a bike at the same time. So we want to make it easy for them. We want to give them a bike that's going to hold together for a long time and for that Yamaha went to a motor that they'd used in a bike that they have in Europe called a Tricker and that is really a, like an urban trials bike. Um, it's air cooled so it's going to be extremely reliable, yet it's got good low-end torque. And in fact, when Yamaha brought this motor and introduced it to the ATV chassis, what they did is they had to go through the gearbox, uh, change the gearing a little bit, beef it up for the added load of an ATV, because it, an ATV has so much more load to carry around than a motorcycle. It looks to be pretty easy to maintain. There's a little oil filter cover on the other side. Um, air cooled but it does have an oil cooler hidden up here underneath the cowling so there's a couple oil cooler lines that come off of the other side of the motor so it's just got the traditional carb no EFI on this bike you know they want to keep it simple and cost effective since this was an all new bike Yamaha needed a new frame for it new chassis as well the blaster frame and chassis wasn't going to work for this one so they designed a completely new unit new suspension um, the shocks are adjustable it's not quite like the the YFC 450 shocks, but you do have some adjustment with it. But a great feature on this bike is the brakes. It's got the same rotors and calipers in the front and back end as the Raptor 700 and the YFC 450, so it should stop great. And that's a, that's a big point with us, because sport riders, you need good brakes on. The suspension on this bike, being all new and maximized the way Yamaha did it, gets a, quite a bit more suspension travel than anything else in the class. But there's an even bigger advantage over other bikes in this class, the weight. This thing is 15 pounds lighter than the Blaster was, which was by far the lightest bike in the class already. So this bike weighs typically 50 to 60 pounds lighter than other bikes in the class. Primarily because a lot of them have shaft drive, this one's chain. It's just maximized for, for, for performance. When we look for a sport bike, we look for something that's easy to handle, we can move around in the air, has good brakes, good power, and the Raptor 250 has it all. It flies really well, but when you come in hot to a corner, you can hit the brakes and it'll lock up. And it's so light, you can just push it right around. And then when it comes time to power out of the corner, it's got a pretty good uh, bottom end. It's not like a Raptor 700, but it's not ever going to be. But it's powerful all the way through the power band. So I think there's a lot of things going for this bike, and I think you're going to like it.